Hi everyone, welcome to Bullshit Reviews. It's my new series. Sorry, I'm moving around left and right. I'm a little fidgety. I'm trying to hold my arms down. Don't want to be like one of those guys that just... Well, you know... Today's episode, we're going to be looking at a game from the good people from Sega. Yakuza Zero. I'm trying something new. You know, let's start doing reviews. It's a lot harder than I expected, which is good. I like hard. Whoa. <laughs> let, let me start that back. I like things difficult. I'm a difficult person, and I like a challenge. This series is not scripted, so it's gonna be fucking retarded. I'm here to ask the question, can a non-weeboo enjoy this game? And the answer is... Uh, Yakuza 0 is an open-world action-adventure game. I really shouldn't call it an action-adventure game. I shouldn't really call it an open-world game. Where did I get those things? Fucking the wiki, I guess. That's what they said. It's more like a Japanese role-playing game. That's what it should be called. Oh yeah, before I uh, continue with the review, in case anyone doesn't know what Weibo is, these people are weeboos. Konnichiwa senpai, please notice me. I watch Asian cartoons. I'm a weeaboo. They give you two maps to play around with, and the maps are tiny. There's battlefield maps larger than these two world maps. They're pretty much like a couple of blocks. I like to think of it as more of a bigger version of Final Fight or, or Streets of Rage. You, you, there's no vehicles. You're really running around. You're doing random fights with fucking goons and men in black and Yakuza. Why are you fighting these guys? I don't know. Like, they don't give you any backstory. It's like, oh. You know that guy? Yeah. Let's fight him. Why? Mm -hmm. The story involves two main protagonists. Uh, Kisama Kiru. The oldest looking 20 year old I've ever seen. My entire life. Man must have went through a lot of shit. And Goro Majima. I think that's his name. That's probably his name. Yeah, uh, uh, a disabled man I guess? Yeah, lost an eye. Went through some shit. I don't like Kiru. He's a Japanese robot. He has no fucking feelings. He cannot be killed. And he has no charisma at all. He's just... He's just there. He walks around. He, I, his motivations don't make sense to me. Goro, on the other hand, I like Goro. Goro has a much... I mean, he's still... He's another Japanese robot. But at least he actually has a little bit more emotion. That's the thing. You have to be into this type of game. Because Japanese... I guess the protagonists are usually like that. They don't show emotion. They're either robots... Or when things hit the fan... Like, Those two. There's nothing in between. There's no. There's, there's, boop, the light switch for these guys. Oh, <laughs> these two main characters are fighting the underworld and blah blah blah. I don't want to ruin the story. But, you know, it's they're punching people in faces. And watching porn. You have to be really into the Japanese culture to enjoy this game. If you're an outsider, and you're like, whatever, let me just play this game. It's gonna be a weird, weird time.
the story is good. I'm not gonna complain on that. It's a little, the, but the pacing, the pacing. Uh, scenes tend to drag on a little too much. Tachibana. そろそろ腹の中に隠してるもん見せろ。あんたはなぜこの俺に近づいて、その理由は何なんだ。いいでしょう。ですがその前に見ますか。カムロ町。さあな。They just goes on and on and on. You're know, like He's like, no, Tamagotchi. Please, just get to the next scene. I'm like, I, I get it. Like, I understand the point of this. But that's just Japanese culture, I guess. If you played the other games, how you watch their movies, they, some of them will go on fucking 15 minutes on a goddamn speech. You're like, really? Why? I mean, that's your preference. If you enjoy it, that's fine. More power to you. But... That's the thing, it's like, I'm trying to see if a regular person would enjoy this game. And... I don't know. Graphically, this game does not look very good. I mean, granted, it is a PS3 game. It came out two years ago in Japan on the PS3. So, that's one thing. Two, the graphics, while I wouldn't say it's that bad, the main characters look good. They look good. Not great. Not bad. Good. Every everyone else looked like shit. They look like shit. Don't make any fucking sense. It's like really you couldn't put a little more extra money into these NPCs. Even like the middle They're not quite the bottom of the barrel of garbage NPCs. They're not main characters, those guys. They have like an extra pore or two you know, on their face. You would think for a PS3 game that is upscaled for the PS4, they would somehow make it 1080p and 60 frames a second, but it's not. It's 900p and 30 frames. What the fuck is that? Are you serious? Sound design? The design is actually solid. It's, you know, the ambient noises of, of people talking, the crowd just... It's, it's good. Footsteps sound like footsteps. I mean, what... The punches... Sound like punches, there, there's a good... Mm. Music is great. I love the music in this game. When you fight, it has a very Tekken feel to it. It's good. And every time you switch a fighting style, the music changes depending on the fighting style. That's a nice little touch. I mean, the sound is good. Good job, Sega. You did a good job. Voice acting is good, I guess? I mean, I don't speak Japanese. They, they're they yelling very convincingly. I mean, like, they're like, oh! That sounds cool. You know, they say the occasional word of English. One theme of this game that annoys me is that they didn't spend real money on it. The script was probably 5,000 words. And Sega was like, well, we're only allowed, like, we have enough money to, to have voice acted 1,000 words. So then you get the. Yeah. All right, the fighting is good. <laughs> you know, the theme for this game is good. It's like each each fighting style, each character. There's two main characters. 
have three different fighting styles and they're very different from each other. The game gets repetitive though, because there's so much combos you can do. There's a light and a heavy punch and a grab. There's a block, a dash. You know, it's... it's good. It's serviceable. The executions? Oh, you know what? No. I shouldn't call them executions. They're like finishing moves, because technically speaking, the people do not die after you perform these moves. Like seriously, there's no way in hell you're surviving any of these. But the person just comes back to like, That's how they are. It's ridiculous. It's awesome though. It's one of my favorite aspects of the game is the finishing moves. The, the non-lethal finishing move. I mean, I wish there was more to it. Just the same. You can, you can honestly beat this thing with like one combo. From one style. That's it. I think the lock-on mechanic when it comes to fighting is a little annoying. It's, it's... Eh. And the camera can be a little fidgety. This game can be weird. After all, it's a game about Japan in the 1980s. There's weird stuff. There's a lot of things you can do in the city, even though I do complain the cities are the, the I'm not calling it a city. It's like a a New York block. But there's there's actual activities. There's darts, there's pool, you can play arcade games, you can play a stupid bullshit hook game, you can watch softcore porn. You would think that they why would they add that? I feel like it was the, the producer of this, of the game, whatever his name is, was like, to say, because like, alright, since the 1980s, we're gonna have to film uh, females wearing, you know, bathing suits, and they're gonna be in the, in the, in a, in a bath, in a bathtub with milk, or like, grinding on a, a balloon, and Sega is like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, like there's no internet back then, so they, they needed porn. So, you know, let's show that, because we love porn. And Sega is like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's weird that they add this. <sighs> I don't get it. I mean, I, I understand it's trying to be authentic, I guess. I mean, I'm surprised, I mean, why just you might as well show porn? I mean, hell, most Japanese porn is fucking blurry anyway. In conclusion, is Yakuza Zero good for the regular casual action adventure gamer? I don't think so, personally. I think you have to be, you have to embrace the Japanese culture to really enjoy this game. The game has such a charm to it. It's so Japanese. It doesn't shy away from it. It doesn't give a shit. I like that. So, to the question I was asking before, can you enjoy this game without being a weeaboo? And the answer is... Maybe? $60 for fucking Yakuza. Really? $60 for Yakuza Zero? A goddamn port? No. That's almost as bad as fucking Ultra Street Fighter 2. $40. It's not a fucking thing I'm gonna be talking about.